If you're looking for that easy side dish to pair with your prime rib for the holidays, or you just want an easy side dish for any night of the week with chicken, with steak, this, this is it. And we're gonna do it in one pot. So grab your aprons, let's cook. Hey guys, I'm Shireen. Welcome to my kitchen. If this is the first time you've been to my channel, welcome. Here we make homemade made easy where I show you how to cook from scratch, but easy enough for everyday cooking. Be sure to subscribe below. I do roll out a new recipe video each week. Well, today we're making steakhouse cream spinach. This is creamy, this is velvety. And the best part, I'm gonna show you how to do it in one pot. So let's get started. You ever notice when you're prepping your garlic, the garlic tends to stick to your hands and to your knife? Here's a little tip. Take your knife, run it under cold water, and then when you're mincing your garlic, the skins and the garlic won't stick to your knife or to your hands. Just a little tip. So we have one extra large shallot. So this is just a sweeter onion. It just has a more of a refined flavor. For sure, it's gonna give us that steakhouse restaurant quality flavor. All right, so now it's time to make the roux. So you want about five tablespoons of butter. And you can find this recipe on my website at cookingwithshireen.com. I'll attach the link below. So we're just gonna first melt our butter. So we're gonna add our shallots and garlic right into the melted butter. It smells good already. So we just wanna saute this over medium heat. So basically what you're looking for is that smell of garlic. You're gonna smell the shallots. They're gonna get really sweet and it happens super quick. So you wanna cradle your heat between medium and medium low. And now we're just gonna add our all purpose flour. We wanna ensure that it doesn't get lumpy. We want it to be nice and smooth. So when I was in culinary school, my culinary instructor gave me the best tip. I still remember it, I'll never forget it. He said, when you're making roux, you want it to look like wet sand. So it really shouldn't be pasty. It should have this sort of loose, pliable texture. We're gonna make a sauce. We're technically gonna make like a bechamel paste. I'm gonna call it a bechamel paste and there's sort of a method to my madness. There's a reason why I'm making it more of a paste and less of a sauce, so stay with me. So now for the milk. So in the past, I have used heavy cream and milk. Well, I found that just using milk was enough. It made it so velvety and creamy. So we're gonna add our milk. Now you could add it cold, you could add it room temperature, I've done it every single way under the sun. I found, honestly, if you just slowly pour it in and whisk constantly, you'll be fine. So remember, we don't want any lumps. All right, so perfect. So I want you to look at this texture. This is the texture that you want. It's more of a bechamel paste. And there's a reason for that, because that's how we're gonna eliminate cooking the spinach in a separate pot. We're gonna add the spinach right inside this pot right here, and all of that liquid that you get from the spinach, not only is it flavorful spinach liquid, but it's gonna thin this sauce and make it super creamy. So you've eliminated that step, we've made it easier, and it really makes it so creamy and delicious. All right, so we're gonna season it with salt and pepper. And nutmeg. So you just wanna freshly grate it right over the top. Perfect, which makes a classic bechamel. All right, so you def definitely wanna just keep whisking. Don't wanna burn the flour. We don't wanna break the sauce or break the butter, because that's really what happens. The butter tends to break. So just keep whisking. So we wanna cook out that raw flour flavor and really develop a delicious flavored sauce. About three to five minutes. 
So now while I'm constantly whisking our bechamel paste, I want to freshly grate our Gruyere cheese. Gruyere is a Swiss cheese. It's slightly sweet, it's slightly salty, and is perfect with spinach. Now we're going to reduce our heat to low, and we're going to take, look at all this spinach. One pound of spinach. All this spinach is going to wilt down. It's a lot of spinach. All right, so we're just going to add this right into our pot. Now it's going to be a little crammed. That's why we have a six quart pot, but we're just going to sort of jam it in there. So for sure, it's going to tumble over the edge. It can't help it. <laughs> Season it with a little bit of salt, freshly cracked black pepper. So our heat is on medium low. You want to cover the spinach. So it's been about a minute. So you want to remove the lid. So it still looks like there's a lot of unsteamed spinach. All right, so just carefully, little at a time, we're gonna rotate the spinach from the bottom to the top, because on the bottom it's already wilted. And then you're gonna leave your lid off, increase your heat to about medium, medium low. And then you're gonna start to see the moisture from the spinach release. And then it's gonna thin that bechamel paste beautifully. Uh, look at that. See that? It comes together so quickly. Now once it's about three quarters of the way there, cut the heat and then we have our grated Gruyere cheese. We're done. Freshly cracked black pepper. Couldn't be any easier. I'm gonna have spinach in my teeth. Don't judge. Mm -hmm. You can taste the aromatics from the shallots and the garlic, but it's all about the spinach. The spinach is the star. The Gruyere just made it velvety and creamy and didn't overpower. So there you have it, a fresh and easy restaurant quality steakhouse cream spinach that you can make at home. If you like this recipe, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. I do roll out a homemade made easy recipe each week. Until then, see you next time. Simple, here we go. If you like this video, I can't say video, apparently.